हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल डॉक्टर प्रधान हेल्थ टिप्स आई एम डॉक्टर एस पी प्रधान टुडे गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक ऑन इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इन प्योर वेजिटेरियंस विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज ए बी कॉम्प्लेक्स वाटर सोल्यूबल टाइप ऑफ विटामिन व्हिच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज सियानो कोबालामिन इट्स एक्टिव फॉर्म इज नोन एज मिथाइल कोबालामिन इट हैज सम डाइवर्स रोल्स टू प्ले इन आवर बॉडी लाइक सिंथेसिस ऑफ डीएनए फॉर्मेशन एंड मैचुरेशन ऑफ आरबीसी एंड माइलिनेशन ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम द मेन सोर्स ऑफ विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व इज फ्रॉम द एनिमल सोर्सेस लाइक मीट मिल्क एग पोल्ट्री एंड फिश इट इज यूजली एबसेंट इन वेजिटेरियन डाइट सो those people who rely on vegetarian diet since last so many years they are liable to get the deficiency manifestations of vitamin b12 in our intestine our healthy gut bacteria to some extent help in synthesis of vitamin b12 and they can provide a reliable source for few years but it cannot last for lifetime so it is very much important to have some alternative sources to counteract the deficiency manifestations of vitamin b12 coming to the functions of vitamin b12 it helps in formation of dna which is the genetic makeup of our body it helps in maturation of rbc thus prevents anemia anemia as you know when there is decreased hemoglobin or rbc level below the normal value it helps in preventing the age related macular degeneration it helps in uh, decreasing the homocysteine level thus preventing the thrombotic heart disease next coming to the daily requirement the daily requirement value of vitamin b12 is around 2.4 microgram per day coming to the deficiency manifestations it manifest as megaloblastic anemia in which the rbc are larger than the usual size of rbc the neurological manifestations are fatigue weakness then tingling sensation numbness numbness means there is decreased sensations like pain fine touch and crude touch then there is muscle weakness ataxia ataxia means when there is imbalance or gait disturbances also it manifest as subacute combined degeneration of spinal cord in severe cases coming to the alternative dietary sources the alternative dietary sources are usually the dairy products like milk cheese yogurt paneer one cup of cow's milk provides usually 50% of the dietary value of vitamin b12 next is fortified cereals many countries have used fortified cereals as very good source of vitamin b12 next is nutritional yeast it can also be a rich source of vitamin b12 some mushrooms like sartek mushrooms are also a very good source of vitamin b12 so when to assess the deficiency of vitamin b12 when there is neurological manifestations as we have discussed earlier we have to assess the serum level of vitamin b12 when it is less than 200 picogram per ml then we can assume that there is deficiency of vitamin b12 then how to prevent it as you know the pure vegetarians who rely on vegetarian diet since so many years they are very much liable to develop vitamin b12 deficiency there should be an alternative source as we discussed they should consult the doctor regularly and have a check up of vitamin b12 at least annually 
I think you like this video. Please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.